Welcome back to Nugga Garage, sort of. Uh, on location here today, doing a bit of hands-on work for uh, Scott here. Um, I'll take you through the area. We've got a bit of a, an area in the workshop that needs some uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. So we're gonna see if we can address that today. Yeah, yeah mainly because we've got to do firmware updates and whatnot. So laptop needs can connectivity. See, there. even car heads need connectivity. So let's see what we can do. Right, so it seems the cablers have already been in here. So, and uh, that's where we're gonna put it anyway. I told them the other day, so that'll cover this area there, in there, and this general back end of the workshop. Because down in the uh, existing area, way down in the office down there, is the existing AP, and it just doesn't make it up to this end. So, got the cable run, I'm just gonna terminate some plugs on it and mount an access point. Now, the way he's been getting around this so far is by using one of these Wi-Fi extenders, which I personally hate because it just shares the bandwidth and it's not that good. It did get him out of trouble um, to get him this far, but of course, the best way to do it is run an actual cable down here and put a new AP. So I'm gonna get rid of this and uh, just set up the new access point. Down here in his uh, data center, if you could call it that. We've got an old HP switch here for PoE. So that's gonna power the access point so we don't have to worry about extra power. And a stack of old APs. And I'm just gonna use a, um, a 115 down the other end. So he's run the cable up and over and down to there. So I'm gonna terminate those cables Here's, here's the other end on the floor. I'm going to terminate those and uh, mount the AP. So this is the sort of thing that goes on. People come in here with their cars and he, you know, tunes them up. And he uses a laptop pretty much all the time to do that. So he connects to these computers in the car. And as he said, he sometimes has to download firmware or just has to look up stuff as he's doing it. But there was always a dead spot in there. So that's pretty much the reason why we're running this extra AP down there. But that, what's, that's only going to go there, that'd be right, wouldn't it? Oh, not you want. One there, one there. I can make it there if you want. If you want it there. I just thought there because it'll get you more can't go that way. I don't want it up there. Point it. Definitely we'll want it down will, here. Will it matter? That's the mount. And you've got these big chunky side cutters to use because I left mine at home. I should be able to get the job done. Let's get that there. Cable's out. So you're probably all aware there's four pairs in there. Uh, the colour and the, the white tracer one. Right, so we start off with the green pair. And with these cables, it always goes white then colour, white then colour, white then colour. Now the the order of them changes a bit because you've got the blue in the middle and the orange is split up on each side of them. So, start off with the green, as in the white and green, green, white and orange, then blue, white and blue, then the orange, then the white and brown, then the brown. Hey dog, you gotta stop and pat the dog. Cause it's a dog. <laughs> so I'll just kind of straighten these out as best you kind of can. <laughs> All the dogs at your leg. <laughs> okay, so try as best you can to sort of get them parallel to each other so they fit into the plug. So once you've got that, just cut the end to make it nice and smooth along there. And then they should be able to go into the plug. What we're looking for here is just make sure they go right to the end. So when I crimp that down and also some of the outer a little bit long actually. Some of that outer blue plastic to go under where it's gonna crimp to give it a bit of strength in case someone pulls it like that. That's a bit short, but it'll do. Actually that is a bit long, so I'm just gonna, just gonna take a bit more off that.
and then just uh, <laughs> I, know he's doing that, or? I don't know him and just crimp that in and you'll see that the, the blue is underneath where that crimp is now to give it a bit of structure that way so it's ready to go it always goes white then a colour so it's white green green then white orange blue solid white blue then the orange solid then the white brown then brown sometimes the greens and the orange pair are swapped the other way depending on because it doesn't use all four pairs does it yeah it does for a gig is it 100 meg doesn't yeah okay so now just plug it in pull this excess cable up and uh mount it to the bracket and it there and that'll do. Now you'll notice I did this end, not the switch end, because that's the one that's going to supply power, so it's got the APN done, plugged in and mounted, and that'll do the other end now. Okay, and they're down at the comms rack. Just going to do the other end in the dark, because it's bloody dark down here. Check that the colour's still right. Is it over? Yep, that's right. The blue's underneath the crimp part, so crimping with these older crimpers here. Okay, so that's fine. I'll plug that in. And it should come to life down the other end. We'll see how it goes. Okay, that's just booting up now. Take a minute, but uh, it's alive. And then we'll test it out and it should be fine. So these guys can use laptops when they're tuning cars. Okay, in the office area, I'm just gonna put one of these here and uh, it will feed the camera out the front, but this is a concrete wall. So it's not the best, but it does work even on his old system. So it'll work on this. And sometimes we just gotta do what we can. So that'll do that. And also the office type stuff here. So I'll just slap a bracket on and go for it. Bit rough, but this is Nugget Garage. So I will allow it. <laughs> so I terminated one end. Just got to feed this up here. Find it in the ceiling. The cable didn't have to be too long because that comms rack's just on the other side of this wall here. So, that'll be fine. Put it in. And apparently that wasn't straight. Fuck it, that'll do. Okay, that's pretty much it for here. I've got the APs up, I've got three of them. That one there is a bit crooked, but um, we can fix that another time when I've got more time. Uh, it's up and running is the main thing. So I've got three APs and uh, all the clients are back, back in action. Um, and I've also got a VPN to this place from home, so I can have a closer look at the uh, config when I get back home. All right, so the AP's up there, so these guys can uh, connect with the laptop when they're tuning cars, which they're about to do. And uh, I'm gonna get out of here and play with this from home. All right, I'm back at home now, so it's quiet here and I can have a look at how the network's performing. So I'll show you what I've got set up. Right, so as you can see, we've just got the one network and the three access points. So we've got the one at the dyno that you saw me install, one in the front office, and one that I didn't really show, but there's one for the front end of the workshop as well. And of course, the clients that are on it. Now, you can see they're sort of dispersed out over the, the APs, but if I have a look at the APs, I'll show you how I've set them up. The channels, most of his stuff, as you probably just saw, well, you probably can't see there, but most of his stuff is actually 2.4 gig. Okay, just cheap cameras and stuff. They all just put 2.4 gig chips in. So anyway, what I've done with the channel plan, given that you can only really use channels 1, 6, and 11, I've set it up that, so that the dyno that's down the back has channel 6 by itself, but the other two, the office and workshop, they're close to each other, they're relatively close to each other. So I've put them on channels 1 and 11. 
to give them the furthest separation between channels. So even though, you know, I could put one there and six there, but they would still interfere a little bit because they're relatively close. So I've gone the, the, the most distance between those because they're the shortest distance apart. And then down the back, Dino gets channel six. Now these are old APs that he's got here. They're 802.11n APs. And you know, we've had 802.11ac since that, 802.11ax since that. Um, so why have I just installed 802.11n? Well, the reason is because they work. They're fine, there's nothing wrong with them, and they do for his purpose. So similar to that, the switch that I've got is an old 3Com switch that's only got 100 meg ports. Okay, so it's a 100 meg switch with 802.11n um, APs. So it's old stuff, but when you think about it, his internet connection's not all that fast, it's not 100 meg. And also, as I just said, all the users, they've just got 2.4 gig crappy stuff, so they're fine with that. And if I have a look at one of them, let's say the computer that he has, you know, it's not actually doing much. And uh, overall, the system is fine. Look at this. Low utilization, low noise, low errors. Clients have got good signal, good speed. It's a good setup. And as Scott's already noted, immediately it was way better than his one AP that he had, you know, the standard ISP provided one up in the office trying to do the whole workshop. And that thing that I pulled out here, the TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi extender, he won't be using this anymore. Um, I might do a video on these and have a deep dive look at how they actually work and what, you know, why it's best to avoid them. So, you know, it got him out of trouble, but really it's not the best. So he's got a good system there now and I can, of course, monitor his cameras here because we've got a VPN uh, between my place and his. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's a bit rough on the install because, you know, when in Rome or Nugget Garage, that's how you do it. But it's up and running and it does the job for him. There's two clients here that have held on to their previous IP address since I changed the subletting scheme, but um, he's just got to kick them in the guts and they should get a new address on the new, new range here. But it works good, he's happy, um, and I've put some old equipment to, to good use because there's nothing wrong with it, so, you know, why throw it out? Anyway, that'll do for now. Till next time, take it easy.